now on rehabbing and construction. So this is an interesting part of the business. It is probably the most dangerous if you don't know what you're doing and the most complicated part of the business. And it seems easy when you watch HGTV to fix up a house, uh, but uh, it's complicated and there's going to be a bunch of parts to these video to this series of videos. So the first thing we're going to talk about municipal agencies. It's really important to know who you have to answer to uh, in Long Island and New York, right? There's a lot. In the city, you know it's the city, but in Long Island, there in each county it's different. In there, there's towns and there's villages, right? I live in an incorporated village, and regardless of what area you're in, if it's an incorporated village, you have to deal with the building department of that incorporated village. And some of these are very difficult, and some of them are very easy. Um, so what the most when I say easy and difficult, most important part is how hard they're going to be on you to give you a, to issue you a permit and to give you the permit. How many inspections are they going to make? Um, are they going to tell you to do three things, come and see it, and then add five more things? And as crazy as it sounds, in some of the bigger areas like the town of Hempstead, it really is location specific because there are inspectors in the town of Hempstead. Most of them are great, and then there are a couple that are not great. And those guys will do exactly what I just told you. They'll tell you you got to do three things to get the permit. And then they come. you did all three things. They come in and they find three more things. That is infuriating. And it happens on a regular basis. Certain places like the town of North Hempstead, it can take you 10 months to get a permit. It's insane. Uh, so these are things you really got to know if you're doing work that needs permits. So we're going to talk about doing work without permits, which is technically illegal, depending on what it is. We'll get into that on another video, but it's very important to understand who the municipality that you're going to have to answer to is for the property you're dealing with. So you need to know that. And um, if you don't know that, you could have a big problem. So uh, if you're getting it from a realtor, you can ask the realtor who might know, or you can literally call up the town or village and ask them, um, but give them the address because there are things in Lindbrook that are not in the village of Lindbrook. There are, there are houses in Hempstead that are only in the village of Hempstead and others that are in the town of Hempstead. There are uh, houses in, in in every village there that are that have the name of the village on it, but they're not in the village because the village uh, boundaries don't cover it. These are things you got to find out because a lot of municipal agencies are, there are a lot of different municipal agencies in our area. This is not only specific to New York. There are other places like that, but in most places you're dealing with one large uh, municipality and you know who to deal with. Here it's very, very location specific.